Hey, welcome to the Strong Roots Podcast. My name is Kristen Hill, and we are so excited that you're tuning in today. Our prayer is that you would move one step closer to Jesus through this series. So go ahead and check out this next episode. Welcome to the Strong Roots Podcast. I'm here with Callie, and we are going to be talking about winter blues. I know this time of year, it can be really hard for so many of us, and I'm so excited to hear a godly perspective and how we can fight it and how to walk through it. So thank you, Callie, yeah. for being here. Mm -hmm. And we're just gonna jump right in. So Callie, what about winter is the hardest for you? Um, the thing that's hardest um, for winter, especially in I mean Northwest Indiana, um, is everything is so dry yeah. and dead and I mean colorless outside. Um, so I'm, me personally, I don't know about everybody, but I'm so, um, my emotions kind of go along with where I am, the atmosphere and all that. I have to be um, really intentional about not letting myself drift into um, uh, just like, uh, you know, yeah. just like lifeless and dead and, you know, um, just kind of getting lulled into the darkness that can creep in during winter. How do you fight it? Like, how, and I guess I want to ask, like, how did you used to fight it? How did you, are there things that you tried that have failed miserably? And then what, <laughs> right? Yeah. And then how have you fought it that you're like, I have found real victory in this? Yeah, I think um, just the past couple of years, I've been really trying to learn who God's created me to be. Mm -hmm. So instead of um, trying to fit into, okay, well, this person runs every morning first thing at five o'clock. Um, and this person um, has a detailed schedule for their day, um, what it needs to look like. And I think that those are incredible things. But um, for me personally, um, my my mood picks up when I experience beauty. Um, and I think I really think that's the truth for everybody. Um, it's not just for me, um, but people experience it in different ways. So, you know, some people need to get out in the morning and run, and some people need to walk their dog. And um, for me, it's um, going outside. It's not. It's not hard. Like mm -hmm. I go outside, um, just letting my dog out, or you know, going to the car and taking a deep breath and um, connecting with God's creation that way. And um, just because it's not my favorite kind of beauty outside right. um, doesn't mean that it's not beautiful. You know, it's not mm -hmm. my preference, it's not my choice, um, but I don't get to, you know, decide what the seasons are going to do. Right. And um, what I get to do is just um, come into submission into where I am in the moment and finding God through beauty. Absolutely. Yeah. So I feel like for me, when I've gone through really big depression seasons, my thought life gets out of control. Yeah. How, so as I feel like maybe somebody is listening right now that they hear what you're saying and they're like, that sounds awesome, but my mind is mm -hmm. a garbage heap. Yeah. What do you, yeah. what would you recommend for somebody who is constantly hearing so much negativity mm -hmm. and dark thoughts? How yeah. would you advise them? Yeah, I, I mean, I've been there. So um, the worst times in my life, I describe it as emotional agony. Mm -hmm. Just, I mean, being like crippled, doubled over in um, just the turmoil and the darkness. So like I've, I've been there um, and I'm so sorry. Um, it's not it's not a simple answer. It's not like a, do this and you're good. Um, yeah, yeah. I, don't, I don't like when people do that, like give you a list of, you know, a BuzzFeed, you know, 10 ways to beat mm -hmm. depression or winter blues or whatever because mm -hmm. um, it's deeper than that mm -hmm. but um, there's I'm, there's hope so something that I've been really intentional about doing over the years and getting better at it is um, taking an assessment of my life and um, trying to figure out where darkness might be creeping in mm -hmm. so um is it in the shows that i'm watching is mm -hmm. it in the music that i'm listening to um the conversations that i'm having with people um you know having to redirect some um some thoughts or negativity or gossip that's been happening um in friends um but really weeding out those mm -hmm. things um it makes a huge impact so i think like i i used to think like well all the darkness is just coming from within yeah. and um it's not always the case. Like mm -hmm. it's so much, it's, it's way more helpful to um, get those outside factors out of the picture. Right. Like it's, it's not serving you. 
Um, and whatever is not serving you, whatever is not bringing you closer to God, get rid of it. It's not yeah. worth it. That's good. Um, it's just going to keep pulling you down. It's going to make the fight even harder, and it's it's not worth it. Right. Yeah, so that's been one of the biggest things is, like, shows, movies, uh, music, um, the people, the places I go, um, the way that I spend my time, just, like, re- reassessing, like, is this actually working? Absolutely. Yeah. So have you found that, I don't know about you, but when it comes to being through these seasons, I vulnerability is key to me. Because I feel like I'll walk through a season like this and hold it in and not tell anyone and not, you yeah. know? Yeah. And it's almost like I feel so silly half the time because like if I would just confess it to God and confess it to somebody else, it's not like instant, everything's gone, but there's so much power in that. Do you find that true as yeah. well? Yeah, 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 yeah. I've totally, I've, I've hid stuff way longer than I needed to. And it seems like the like Bible says that, um, confess your sins to one another so that you can be healed. Yes. And it's not so that you can be forgiven. It's so that you can be healed. Mm. Like there's like, it, you have to bring it to the light. Absolutely. Yeah. So she has a wonderful husband. <laughs> And I want to ask you, what has he done to, if you can, who, that has harmed you, if you're willing to be vulnerable in that way, or what has he done and or to mm-hmm. lift you up? Like, are there things, I feel like there's some spouses or best friends who are watching or listening right yeah. now, and they're like, tell me how to walk <laughs> alongside of them. So what would you say? Oh, um, and my husband is incredible. Mm-hmm. Um, he's so gentle and patient with me. Um, in in the hard seasons, something that um, we say to each other is especially like we know that it just it, it comes and goes in waves, and something that we say to each other is this isn't good. This will not last forever, mm. and we have an eternal perspective on it. Um, this That's is a struggle good. that I have now, but it's not going to be forever. So it might end tomorrow. It might end next week. It might end you know in ultimately when we get to heaven yeah. um, but to, just to know that um, this isn't really who I am like the struggle that I'm having and the sadness and the depression um, even in the winter months um, especially like this is not my truest self um, mm-hmm. so he reminds me of that often but um, he also he um, seeks beauty with me so finding things that we enjoy the activities that we enjoy together and it might not be um his first choice but he knows that it you know would be good for me to you know get outside and walk we took a walk last or not last night um a couple nights ago outside in the freezing cold you know because that's that's what was available to us like we knew that we needed to connect we knew that we needed to go outside so it was a little uncomfortable for him um but it was a good payoff for both of us yeah yeah so what have been the blessings? Like, I know that God works all things for the good of those who love him. So what have been the gifts, the treasures that you've been collecting, even in the midst of darkness? Yeah. I think I, thinking about winter and um, just like being a little bit more closed in and quieter, um, I would say like, my relationship with Jesus has gotten stronger mm. because of those um, quiet and hard times. Mm. So seeking God in the struggle has been the greatest treasure. Yeah. And even like, so trees in winter, they don't stop growing. Mm. So like you don't see, you don't see the fruit, you don't see the trees mm. or you don't see the leaves. Um, Do you see what looks like dead branches and you think like well you know they're done they're useless for now but what happens is underneath everything you can't see it yeah but underneath everything their roots get deeper and um they start searching for what they need to keep flourishing yeah and what happens is it makes it stronger for the next season because they expand um their root system so in like in the in the winter we have the opportunity uh like winters you know of uh, the soul like um whatever it might be because it could come in any time but we have the opportunity in those times of okay like this doesn't feel good um i don't feel as effective or as fruitful right now um i have i'm having a hard time you know like keeping up with my family yeah. um or taking care of my kids um i'm gonna see god right now and it make it's, it has made me so much stronger in my relationship with god um, intimacy with him. He knows everything already. Mm -hmm. Um, and he's always good. And there's always, he's always going to provide for us. So even in these seasons, 
digging my roots deeper into Mm -hmm. him um has been the greatest treasure like he's endless so that's so good I love that analogy so I don't like again I have had in moments of my life where I have almost like an SOS card like a verse Mm -hmm. that you know and for me when I was really struggling with my thought life you know that verse that's whatever's true whatever's right whatever's pure I'm probably Mm -hmm. not saying in the right order but (laughs) I would like I worked in an office and I had like I had some verses that were like my go-to that I just, okay, that thought, wow, that yeah. was horrible. Mm-hmm. It's not like whatever shoot. Nope, it's not true. Yeah. And it's not pure. And it's not righteous. Like, yeah. I'm not going to think it. What are your go-to SOS verses? Think about it. Um, well, right now it's um, Psalm 23. So the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Um, he makes me lie down in green pastures. He restores my soul leads me in paths of righteousness for his namesake That's you know good. it's it's for his namesake mm-hmm. um and it's i mean our good comes out of it but yeah. first and foremost it's for his glory um but yeah i do that i do that with verses and i do it with songs too yeah. like i have you know like months where i'll just like listen to a song on repeat because it just like keeps Ooh. feeling fresh every time yeah yes. so yeah i like if and if i don't have a song i go looking for one it's kind of like you said though too certain songs even if they're good can bring me down yeah where i'm like having a great day and then all of a sudden it's a super yeah. sad song and i'm like oh no yeah. <laughs> i'm spiraling yeah. down yes. but yeah. i love that songs as much as they can bring you down they can they yeah. can lift you up yeah. in everything we're saying is there anything or any advice any wisdom that we haven't touched on yet that you are wanting to convey to the people who are listening I don't, the thing that comes up in my mind uh, when thinking about this topic is it's not about my preferences. Mm. And when I have the opportunity to give up what I want um, for what the season is um, and trusting God and leading, like winter's always going to come. We know that it's coming. Um, And so trusting God and how he, how he created the world, I think like, I think like, going on vacation all the time or you know I just need, I just need a trip to the beach you know yes. it's, it's gonna fix everything and then you go to the beach and then you come home and then you need another trip to the beach yeah um, and you, you know you, you need more sunshine um, but it's not it's not about my preferences and how I get back to the place of okay like there actually is really good things inside of this season is um, Lord what do you want um, what do you want out of me in this season um, what do you have um, for me, for other people? How can I help other people in this season instead of focusing on, like, it's so cold outside? Yep. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Yeah. And I, I'm going to end with that because I think that is so powerful that there's hope in putting aside our personal preferences. There's hope from not looking inward and focusing on ourselves. But I think there is so much power in focusing on God. Yeah. I mean, everything you've been saying is turn your eyes to God. Yeah. And go and live it out. Yeah. And I, yes, I just, for people listening, I just don't give up. This is not who you are. Like, you are still growing. God is still up to something. And there is work yet to be get done. And I just, I love your story. And I think just your vulnerability is super inspiring to mm-hmm. me. So thank you for sharing your yeah. heart. Yeah. I really appreciate mm-hmm. it. And thank you guys for tuning in. I cannot wait to catch you next time. If you enjoyed today's episode, make sure to follow us on our other social media platforms. We don't want you to miss out on any future content. Thank you so much again, guys. I hope you have a great day. And I want you to know I am personally praying that your roots stay strong.